hello everyone uh, welcome to this session so in this video we are going to look at how to implement ping command so in the previous lectures uh, i have already told you what is ping command and how does it work so let me uh, repeat that again so typically you will use ping command to test the connectivity between uh, two devices for example here i have opened the command prompt and i want to test the, uh, i want to test the connectivity between my system and let's say google.com's server so i am giving ping space google.com so you can see here it is showing the ip address of google server and what did my system do is my system sent four requests to the google server and the google server has uh, read those four requests and it has sent four replies uh, back to my system okay and this is the information about those replies right so that is how a ping command works now we have to implement the same um, working of the ping command using java program okay so let's see how it will be done so here is the client program so if you look at the program this is the the code is very similar to the previous uh, uh, the code that i have show, shared with you in the previous video which is for socket programming right okay so here in the first line in the main method we are uh, creating a socket object where we are specifying the name of the uh, client mm, sorry it's not the client it's the name of the server uh, to which you want to connect okay so since both uh, the client program and the server program is running on my own system so i am giving localhost as the address or name okay so if it is an, uh, if you are trying to connect to another system instead of localhost you will be giving the ip address of the another system here okay and the second parameter is the port number okay so 6500 is the port to which the server will be running okay and as usual we are creating objects for data input stream and data output stream and here if you see we have replaced the while loop with a for loop okay so in the for loop we will be sending four packets or let's say uh, four messages to the server okay and the message i am sending to the server is hello okay and after sending each uh, request i am let's say pausing uh, the program for one second so this is millisecond thousand milliseconds means one, one second and after that i am reading the data or uh, whatever message the server is sending back and i am displaying that message okay so this is a simple client program and let's see the server program so this is the server program so we are creating server socket object with the port number as a parameter and we are assigning that uh, um, object to socket class uh, reference and creating objects for data input stream and data output stream and again you can see here there is a for loop which is executing for four times so the server will be taking the request from the client which uh, it will get using this read utf and it is going to print the request which the client has sent to the server and then it is going to send back some reply so this is the reply that the server is sending back to the client okay and of course we are making the program to pass for one second after every reply okay so this is how the program works so let's see the execution of this so desktop programs so pj i am compiling the program so the file name is ping server uh, sorry the directory is dccm okay now ping server dot java okay now running the server 
so the class name is new server okay right the server is running now let's start the client so this is for client desktop programs bcc and java c pin client or java java new client so when i hit enter here the client the client will start sending four requests so you can see request and replies okay so this is how we are simulating the behavior of ping command using java programs okay even though it is not exactly as how the ping command is working uh, this is the general way in, uh, in which it works so the client will send some requests and the server will take the request and send back some reply right okay so that's it for this video thank you